Welcome to Play Along. Today we're going to go over Endgame Play. You will be white. You can play along at once. The idea is called the Ace in the Hole. This red is up at checker. It's three versus two, but it's white's move. It's white to move and draw. If you spotted the move 21 to 17, that's correct. That's the turnaround move. If red would go 22 to 25, you would just go 17 to 14, and red jumps 9 to 18, you would jump 15 to 29 for the double, and you have to win and move on 13. He would be trapped. If red goes 22 to 26, you have the same play, 17 to 14. When red jumps 9 to 18, you wind up in 31, and you have to win and move on 13 for the win. So the best reply in the basic position for red is 9 to 14, you jump 17 to 10, and you have the draw. Now we go into the second example. It's white to move and draw, 3 versus 3. Now it does look like white's in trouble. Your move would be 20, 17 to 13. Red goes 30 to 25. You go 22 to 17. Red goes 25 to 21. And now you have to turn around move. You can either go 13 to 9. That's one way. We're going to show you this way where you go 3 to 7. Red jumps 21 to 14. And then you go 13 to 9. For the turnaround move. Now if red goes 14 to 17, you would just go 9 to 6, 1 to 10, 7 to 21 for the double and the win. Or if red goes 14 to 18, so it's the same thing but in a different position on the board. 9 to 6, 21 to 10, 7 to 23, and you're going to be trapping 5 for the win. So red's top best move is 1 to 6, jump 2, 9 to 2, get a king. Now, red should go 14, 18 for the draw. Let's say he goes 5 to 9, you would just go 7 to 10. When he jumps, you jump for the win. The third example. Here's three against three, but white has a win here. The weakness of five and 13, white's gonna use that to his advantage. White to move and win. White goes 18 to 14. A red cannot go 22 to 17, because if you would go 15 to 10, and then when red goes 22 to 17, 17 to 22, you go 14 to nine, red jumps five to 14, and you would jump two for the win. So we'll put the checker back. So red goes 22 to 25. In this position, you would not go 15 to 18 because you'd have a red check on 13 would have a bridge. You can get 17 to 22. If red would have went here, then you could go 25 to 18. However, red and you have to win 18. Uh, you have to win there. So move 22 to 25. White's correct move is to go 14 to 10. Red goes 25 to 22. And you see this in the in the end games. This is like a seesaw move. Red made. Go 10 to 6. Now red tries to escape with uh, 5 to 9. Go 21 to 17. The uh, good move. And now red cannot go 22 to 25 because the same 2 for 1. 17 to 14. 9 to 18, 15 to 29, or the same thing if he goes here, the same, for the win. So now red's best move in, this, in that position is 9 to 14, jump 17 to 10, you're up a check and you have a win. Now, it, it'll take a few moves, but you have a win from here. Now 
But say for example, red goes 13 to 17. Then you would go 15 to 18. Red jumps 22 to 15. You go 6 to 1, get a king. Red goes 15 to 6. You jump 1 to 10, and you're going to trap the red checker for the win. One move can make a difference. Find the right move and become a better player. Thank you for watching this video.